Hello Semper, welcome to French's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. And today it's a super simple um, men card. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, it would be um, a good card for like Father's Day, a man's birthday. But I'm seeing a groom's um, card too. I think that would be uh, perfect for a groom card. I had done this one for my uh, customer appreciation that you get the the little purse and you get um, cards to put in and after I was done with this one I'm like huh I should flip it this way so and I had cut my paper wrong and I said I'm going to make something else so when you cut this is your uh, timeless elegance designer series paper so just make sure that when you cut at four if you want it on the long way you're going to cut it this way and this one I wanted this for because for my purse I wanted to go this way so just pay attention when you cut your paper again this is the timeless elegance paper it's only available while supplies last and even if it's the black and the vanilla you see you can switch it at any color it's the same paper so let's get started and I'm going to do it in a Lost Lagoon so you can see how to uh, make it with paper. So your designer series paper it is cut at four by five and a quarter. Again four by five and a quarter. So on the sheet of 12 by 12 on your designer series paper you would get six of them at that size. Now this is four so the middle of this it's going to be two inch. So you're going to bring that at two inch and you're going to go about one and a half. Well it happened that um, it's right on black on black so you cannot see it. If that's the case just take a paper of like white or in this case I get yellow um, and put that right under your mark so then you can see it very well. So we're going to bring this and stop at one and a half. You get your point there that it's where you see your mark where it cut so I stop it's not at the edge here of your uh, cutter it's right at the point that's where the blade is so I went to one and a half we're going to remove this and now um, if you want to do it just black and vanilla you would stop here and just fold it well we want to use color I'm going to show you how to do it with color so leave it this way we're going to use Lost Lagoon and again that's an in color that it's leaving us so if you love the in color it's time to get it. You get the three. I call this the three because you get that dip here and this is like a little bit of a round shape. That's the place that you want to use to drag your ink. We're going to take this, drag it. So you can put it lighter or darker whatever many time you're going to drag. And it depends to how much ink you get in your, um, how well juicy is your ink pad. If it's like this one, I can tell it's time to rank it. So usually I just drag and it's done. Like the green, I mean, it was beyond quick. And that's it. I won't even go darker than that. I kind of love this color right now because it looks like jeans. So... <clears throat> I think it's awesome. So now I'm going to remove this and where we cut you're going to put your finger right there go there and fold this and where's my bone folder right here we're going to reinforce oh I tried to stick the peak there so it do a nice collar. Here we go and then we're going to do this again over here So you see we had vanilla and now we get blue. So it's awesome. That paper, it's awesome. And you get so many nice print in that. Um, you can uh, reverse, I mean, have it any color that you want. Now I got the Lost Lagoon over here. Um, I'm going to fold this in two. And I had started another card and it was the wrong color. So let me put my piece. Oh, it's too short. Well, maybe my blue, it's the wrong size. Let's check this out here. 
we want five and a half. Oh, it is five and a half. So inside I'm going to put my, uh, like this one here, I'm going to put a, a white or a cream color inside to just bring it up and I'm going to put happy birthday or this is the uh, guy's greeting so you can have like um, happy father's day you can have husband grandpa brother world greatest you can stamp anything you want inside okay and his oh that's the one I had cut and I wanted vanilla for this one okay now we're going to glue this on the outside we're gonna put that right here and because I didn't stamp um, I could put that on another piece you know what maybe it would look better on vanilla let's see no nope. I'm gonna keep it on this color Okay, and for the color, so you don't keep on, I just do a little bit. Just say, I don't want it very flat there, but then I want it that it stay there. Now we're going to use the bow punch builder, this punch here. And we don't need the tail. We just need two of them here. One. I got the line there, that's why I'm... Uh, Usually I would say, uh, do more together so you save on your paper. And then we need one of this. So you need just one of this one and two of this one. Now let's remove this. Oh, did I lost? Here we go. Now I like to take my bone folder and instead of just folding this, it won't increase. I just take my bone folder and smooth that up a bit. So to curve it easier. Now I'm going to take the glue dots. And we're going to fold this. Squeeze this good there. And then again here. like this and this one too I like to just to break the paper the the fiber a bit in the paper it make it easier to work it so that's the main reason why I uh, and yes I like my fast fuse for this so it stays strong well let's put another glue dot here And I like to mount them very close together there. So it's not such a big bow tie. I'll take this around and go very tight. Here we go. Now we're going to take our another glue dot. Really, I put two in the back of this just because it's going to go in the mail. And you're going to ask me, is it possible to mail this? Absolutely. The only thing it's going to get your bow flat up. But because you um, curve it with the bone folder, see, it don't do those little creases. It's going to flat very nice. Now I use a piece of black. And we're going to cut just a little bit. So you're going to say how wide this is. It's about half inch. So I'm going to go half inch and I just do about what a quarter inch? Yeah, a quarter and half inch of that little black thing there. And then we're going to use the same color um, kerchief or whatever it's called. Um, I think it's kerchief. The <clears throat> Lost Lagoon, we're going to cut two of, just like the corner of the paper, two of this. Now, you know what, I think I want a bit wider. Yeah, half inch, it's not enough. We're going to go a little bit more than half inch. I would say about three quarter of an inch long. And even if it's not straight, don't you worry about that. 
and then we're going to take this don't worry if the peak go on the side because we're going to trim that so you get a little uh, point there and then I'm going to, oh, I need to put more snail in the bag because they're going to touch. If not, they don't stay together. And then I'm going to take this, put another one. See? Is that cute? Now, I'm going to trim this right here. And maybe this one will be a little bit smaller. Now we're going to take this and put that right there. So you get the little kerchief. See how cute that is? Then what I did, I just, with my finger, so it looked more like material. See how it is? That is it, my friends. So here we go. And we got the Lost Lagoon. We got the Wild Wasabi and cherry cobbler with the vanilla without the sponging super quick and simple you could always stamp your grating there i want it plain and inside i put my grating in place to write i think this way is just plain and simple and clean thank you so much and for all your stamping up product visit my blog at frenchystamps.com you get the 24 7 for shopping right there i appreciate your business more than you know thank you and have a blessed day my friend